Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehan, back again with another character conversion. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Oh, right. Nobody saw that one. Nobody's seen any of my Planeswalker videos as of late, now that I think about it. Except for Soren, but he's a vampire, so it kind of makes sense for people to watch that one. Our Planeswalker is not that popular anymore. I thought it had been very good, especially when I covered the Planeswalkers of Ravnica. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and try doing some more Nintendo characters. Because it seems like there's a DM out there who is running a campaign based off of Super Smash Brothers. Because a good portion of my videos that are Nintendo characters are kind of popular. Uh, I mean, Samus and Kirby are kind of back-to-back -back on my rating system. Anyway, today we're doing Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong's Psychic. As always, we'll be using the point by system for our stats. Highest stat is going to be Dexterity and Constitution, followed by Wisdom, then Intelligence, and then ending on a 10 for both Strength and Charisma. Now, the race is going to be a little challenging, because Diddy Kong is a monkey. Thankfully, there is... A monkey race. Technically. We're going with the goblin from Plane Shift of Exalan. I mean, here, here's the goblins from Exalan. They're clearly monkeys. Alright, so, the goblin from Exalan unfortunately gives us a plus two to our dexterity. Did I say unfortunately? Thanks to Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, we actually have the ability to change where our stat bonus goes. So, we're going to move that dexter, that plus two to our dexterity, over to our intelligence, making it a 14 as well. The goblins from Exalan also get a 25 speed, with a climbing speed of 25, as long as you're not wearing medium or heavy armor. Dark Vision is 60 feet, and your languages are Common and Goblin. Your background is Folk Hero, because uh, that's what Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are in the Donkey Kong Country universe. Anyways, your skills are Animal Handling and Survival. You get an Artisan's Tool of your choice, and you also get proficiency with Land Vehicles. Gotta be able to drive those go-karts, right? You also get... The feature, Rustic Hospitality. Not too important, but it works. Uh, Diddy Kong is a monk key. That is the only monkey joke I'm making for this video. Monks get a 1d8 for their hit die. They get unarmored defense and martial arts. For your skills, grab acrobatics and athletics, because you are a monkey. Next level, go ahead and grab Artificer. Did you know that Diddy Kong was good with technology? Makes some brilliant inventions, like a gun that shoots peanuts. Or the barrel cannons. So we're going to go ahead and go with an Artificer. You'll get a 1d8 on your hit die. So nothing really changes too much, except you get... Some proficiencies in armor, light armor, medium armor, and shields, as well as having proficiencies in thieves' tools and tinkers' tools. You also get the magical tinkering and the artificer spell casting, using air quotes again, which uses your intelligence modifier. Level 2 artificer will get infused item. Level 2 monk gets key and unarmed movement. I forgot to put this down, but key uses your wisdom modifier why we have our wisdom at a 13. An unarmed move it will add 10 feet to our speed, making it a nice 35. So, we got a fast little monkey. A level 3 artificer gets a specialist. Go with the artillerist, just so he can get those barrel cannons. You get a tool proficiency in woodcarver's tools. Your artillerist spells are shield and thunder wave. 
And you also get the Eldritch Cannon. Also, you get the right tool of a job just for being a level 3 Artificer. Level 4 Artificers get a ability score improvement, or you can go with a feat. If you go with the ability score improvement, just increase your dexterity to a 16. If you want a feat, I recommend grabbing the Fighting Initiate and get the Unarmed Fighting Style. While you're not wielding any weapons, which you probably mo won't be given that you're a monkey, your hit die from your unarmed strikes will become a D8. Yeah, that's a power of a monkey punch. And until you can get your strength up, I would recommend getting the Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Since you're an artificer, you can easily make those, I think, at later levels. But I still recommend it, so long as you have a low strength score. Level 5 artificers get the Arcane Firearm and more Artillerist spells, Scorching Ray and Shatter. Level 6 Artificers get the Tool Expertise. Level 7 Artificers get the Flash of Genus. And for our final level for this video, we are going with another Ability Score Improvement. And we're just going to go with straight Ability Score Improvement. If you did not get the Fighting and Shit Feat, go ahead and increase your Intelligence to a 16. If you did grab a Feat, increase your Strength to a 12. Well, I hope you enjoyed, viewers. This was a pretty good build, pretty fun to do. Until next time, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.